All right, so how you all doing boys? Hope you're doing well now in today's video. We have a pack, of course, with another Sariel Showcase. Now, these next couple days are going to be strictly Sariel Showcases, so if you guys do want to see those, by all means hit the like and subscribe. Wouldn't want to miss out on any of them. But today, if you guys saw yesterday's Showcase, we are doing pretty much the same team, but I really wanted to see Sariel actually get some level 3s off. And of course, using the Halloween Girth that makes that more than doable. We are, of course, keeping the Margaret, just in case we do manage to get something like an extra Breath of Bless card, that will help you to get the level 3 off. Also, I feel like Sariel's best, you know, or at least one of the best, you know, buddies for Sariel is going to be this Margaret here. But if you guys don't know what the Sariel does, the first card here inflicts cleave damage, which does not activate crit damage, equal to 300% of attack on all enemies. The second card here, increased damage dealt by 60% and assumes a stance for two turns, which taunts enemies, reduces incomage damage by 50, uh, by 60%, then inflicts damage equal to 450% of attack when taking damage. The ultimate here, which they changed the name from the JP version, I'm still not 100% sure on how to pronounce it, but inflicts quell damage equal to 330% of attack on all enemies, we do have them 2-6. The grace here, Decreases all enemies crit chance by 3% and crit damage by 8% for 2 turns whenever the hero uses a skill. And last but not least, the passive increases the 4 Archangels allies crit damage by 8% for each battlefield buff. Limit up to 5 times. So, really good character. I am a real big fan of the actual Grace. I feel like there are a couple characters, especially after we're done doing this actual Sariel showcases, that I would really like to try this on and I feel like they'd benefit a whole bunch from. But jumping over to the equipment here, we are rocking the attack crit damage set. Pretty decent rolls, nothing too crazy. And then jumping over to the closet, purchased all the costumes, just upgraded the UR ones. As always, I'm not super rich on the cosmetic materials, but uh, this is the team we're using today. Pretty much everyone else is on a HP defense set, but uh, yeah, let's jump right into it. Here we go, first opponent, a Margaret Trader melee team, and especially with the kind of CC we're getting here, I haven't tested this Sariel out a whole bunch. I mean, this is only the second showcase, but I would definitely like to see. I might actually, what would be the go-to play here? I think we might hold up onto the rank up just for the time being and we'll go for this here but especially once we've gotten a couple showcases down i can like understand what my like actual opinion is on this sariel i would definitely like to maybe build a hp defense set just in case because i feel like this is a unit that can get fairly high cc and being able to push 330 000 cc on a team like this i feel it'd be super beneficial but whole bunch of extra sariel cards got the double rank up as well so we can push the level three breath of bless which is huge for us you see like his counter damage is really good even on the level ones and i mean this sire having fairly good defensive sub stats and being green helps so much when tanking against the Eskinal. we'll double rank up the margaret here should have kept the counter but at the same time we can still draw one in the next turn let's see what the aoe damage can do though we do have a bunch of holy blade cards as well if we need to use those but i'm sure we'll be fine unless he starts getting just some crazy damage off with his meliotis we should be in the clear once again the Sariel cards helping out a whole bunch, stopping him from getting those, you know, the extra crit damage and whatnot. It is a very slow build up, but it kind of helps counteract the buffs he gives himself from his passive. Thinking really well there. We did get a whole bunch of Polyblade cards, and I mean, that there, that'd usually be like half your health bar on most characters. Please survive, Sariel. Was that his final card? I think that was, right? Perfect, perfect, perfect. We will. Does this. It doesn't increase damage just on level one, no. Okay, that's right. We'll go one, two, and. We might throw out the Margaret card there, just so we get the ultimate, just in case we really need it. I feel like we should be fine, though. 250,000. Once again, you can't do crits on this character, just because the crit damage is inbuilt into their normal damage, so... Honestly, not too bad. I feel like if we were to have the level 3 Breath of Bless and the level 3 stance, the damage would be just absolutely absurd. This is actually my first time as well, using the Halloween Gotha, since we've gotten them for 6. If you guys didn't see the Sariel summons, we did end up actually getting 2 dupes for the Sari, which was absolutely huge. Very like good starting hand here. Let's see if we can just go full send on like the counter and the AoE, how much damage we can do to King. The counter as well does actually proc before the shield comes out, which is like an absolutely huge thing, especially with the fact that we're lowering like his crit damage and whatnot. I feel like it'll decrease the shield as well, like a whole bunch. Let's see, is gonna actually, from just like first glance, gonna be a real good character to actually counter King. Honestly, I think if you rank, actually, mm, Unfortunately, Sariel isn't one of those characters. Well, I actually prefer the characters that don't counter off the damage they take. The prime being the prime example, sorry, being Chandler. But let's see, lifesteal as well doesn't proc until the card goes out, and just like that, King is out of there. And then we get the forfeit. 
And I mean, that last match is just perfect example of how you want to ma like matches to go with this team. The only time I could see you struggling with this unit is going up against the Barn team. You, unless you can like rush a Margaret ultimate or something, and then like even then you can still struggle to kill. Like especially if a Barn has like a level three gift card, it can be so insanely hard to just get through all of the health. And if you don't manage to kill him, he gets fifty percent of it back every turn. And I think the gift effect lasts like two or three turns at three stars. Absolutely insane. Getting rid of the other units is fine. If you can get rid of Arthur first, that is obviously a huge help. Let's see here though. Will he actually manage to... Will he attack into the Sariel? Does go for the attack. Okay. I have had times as well where this Sariel has attacked into like an Elizabeth shield and just completely gone through and done some, which is like super rare for Elizabeth shields. A hundred, almost 190,000 there. Can we break through the King shield and kill him as well? Okay, just shy. That's right. I wasn't really expecting them to, but... Let's see, we can go... I mean, with the fact that Saria was just so much more tanky there, having just an extra turn of this counter up, we've pretty much won the match. Throw that one at date. Look at that, just shy of 500,000 damage as well. And then the Holy Blade should finish off King. Okay, no, never mind, King still survives. If he attacks or like throws out any cards at this point in time, I can assure you Saria will completely one-tap the man. We can even rank up into the three-star AoE, so... This match pretty much a dub. All those debuffs as well helping out a whole ton. I doubt he has any more king cards, or otherwise he'd be like throwing them out right now. But it, the debuff I think only stacks up to five times, so it's not something they can get like super out of hand. More just like a minor, well, not like a super minor thing, but like definitely helps out, that's for sure. Kind of like the Keo Ignites. 140,000 damage, not too bad. Can we have him attack with king? Yeah, there we go. Perfect. I mean, it doesn't matter if everyone else is dead. That's fine. As long as Sariel's here with that level 3 counter, we will be putting in work. Who's he got in the back as well? No one coming out. Um, who knows? Let's go. We'll throw out the level 1 of you. Breath of Bless, and then we'll chuck that one out as well. We'd also like to get a... Did we actually get an ultimate off in that first match? I don't believe we did, no. I doubt this will go through anyways. Go through way too tanky. Actually, in saying that, you don't... Yeah. Okay, that's alright. Let's just get on to the next match. Managed to get a full foot right at the end of that last one as well. And a... Is this the same person? I think it might be. However, this time we do get the extra Margaret card, so... Might as well. We do still have a couple more matches, and these ones have been going fairly quickly, so... Merge those two. We will rank up the Margaret, and then we'll go for level 3 Breath of Bless. Hopefully this can reduce his damage enough to the point where the King's Shield isn't as big a hassle. If we could get like an extra Sariel counter and a rank up in this next turn, that would be just... I mean, that's the kind of goal of this video, to get level 3 Breath of Bless and level 3 counter going at the same time and to get someone to attack into it. Getting that kind of luck though just isn't going to happen, that's for sure. Like, we use quite a bit of luck on the Sariel banner. We do have actually a JP, they don't usually do live streams, even for stuff like Ragnarok, which, you know, you think they'd be like fairly like prided in since it's like one of the biggest things they've done with Grand Cross. It's pretty much like showing that Grand Cross is its own game, like a part of the Seven Deadly franchise, if you get what I mean, but uh, let's see, King has ultimate. Ugh, okay. Gosh, there isn't really much we can do here. Let's go one, two, and I think I might just throw out the Margaret card. Planning to just to remove as many Ignites as possible, get the counter up. Only reason I'm using the Margaret attack card there is to get the AoE, but they're doing a live stream, and the only time the JP version or Korean version ever do a live stream is when something big is coming out. And with the fact that we just had this Sariel release, who looks like a huge supporting character like Excalibur Arthur for a bigger, better character. Hey, fingers crossed, Light Type Myel, he's just around the corner. Uh, you heard it here, folks, or otherwise it will be a light type Elizabeth, or I'm just completely wrong. Who knows? We'll have to wait and see. Super excited for that live stream, though. They always happen so late where I am as well. It's like 9, 10 p.m. And I just don't want to have to stay up for that. Surviving the King Ultimate, though. Rank up into an extra Keo card. Yeah, I didn't think he was going to survive that. That's all right. We'll throw out the Margaret card. Depending on how much life still we get, we might be able to bring this back. I highly doubt that. Obviously, getting the level 3 Sario kind of is a whole lot better than what we got here. We'll remove all of those debuffs because they are going to reduce our damage a whole bunch. And then we'll throw out the ultimate. Hopefully, we can one-tap King. We are 6-6. Six, six. There's a the HP defense set, though, so we'll just have to wait and see. Pull through, Margaret. Only just breaking... 
Only just breaking the shield. Okay, damn, I am... I am shocked, to say the least. I would like to face something other than a king team, though. And perfect example. Trade Mel Honestly, running Trade Meliodas with the Jack of Light go through, and even with, like, an extra True Seeker Melon, probably one of my favorite team comps for him, but getting the extra rank up, I mean, you have to do it. There's no way you can't. And with a team like this, where the only real protection you get is from the Meliodas passive. Don't get me wrong. Meliodas passive is insane. Using the two attack skills every turn, you get... I think it's like an extra 8% defense or like damage reduction and it builds up to 40% over like 5 buffs. It is really good, but until you get there, it's not as good as the King's Shield, that's for sure. Like, I've been using him in the bird as of recent, and I will wholeheartedly admit, he is way better than King in the bird. The second phase, I feel like King might be a little bit better, but in the third phase, I... I think I've done the third phase like 4 times since... Jesus, just absolutely one tap and go through there. I've done the third phase, or like the third floor, four times, I think, since I've started using the Meliodas, and I don't think I failed once on it. Which, I mean, for the kind of content it is, that is crazy, crazy odds. Killing the Meliodas there with the Sarel. He is just, if we can get that level 3 counter right off the bat, it is absurd what this man can do. Put in absolute work. And this will be probably our final opponent. I mean, the fish Sarel is just way too strong. Honestly, would you guys reckon in the top 10 Grand Cross skins, I mean, I know there are probably certain people who like, like, I know I have a friend that thinks this, but they prefer all of the skins to stick to the kind of medieval theme that Grand Cross is in. Whereas like when certain characters get like their modern skins, like even Lost Vein back in the day when you got like the hoodie, I was a huge, huge fan of that one. Some people less so, but let me know actually if you guys have a skin that like is less like sought after that you really, really like. Cause I mean, I do know that, like, you know, quite a few people like this Sariel one. I am still disappointed that we actually didn't get the grown-up version of this female Sariel. Can never, can never forgive Marvel for what they did there, but 60,000 on the Goethe, not too bad. And another turn of counter, that's the greatest part about it. What do I want to do here, though? Uh... I suppose... I might actually go for the Pumpkin Bombs in jet instead, just to save us from him rushing Margaret Ultra or anything. We can still use the Margaret AoEs next turn, and if we get another Sariel card, we can merge that. Get the 2-star, then throw out a level 3 Holy Blade. I just don't think he really wants to attack into us with King until that Sariel counters down. Also, look at Gotha there, putting in damage with level 2 Pumpkin Bombs. I don't actually think we've seen... Have we seen any ultimates from Gotha or Sariel this video? I might try and see if we can stall out just a little bit to get the Sariel one off. Was that another level 2 Breath of Bless? I think it was actually, no mind, it was probably just cleaning off the Sariel debuffs. 120,000, not bad, not bad. And throwing out a King card, okay. Please just one tap King. Would you look at that? This green Sariel is just the King destroy. There is there is no way you can tell me otherwise. Let's just, let's just spam off Marvel cards. That's, we can finish off easy money. I will 100% recommend, if you are using this Sarion, if you've summoned and required them, please, please use them with the Halloween Goat. They are so much better with the rank ups, and that level 3 counter is absolutely game-changing compared to the other ones. But, I mean, there's no way I can bring this back. We don't really have to see who's in the back, so, uh, yeah. Let's just wrap up the video. There we go, and that just about does it for today's showcase. Honestly, I've been having so much fun with this Sarion. If you guys haven't summoned and you were wondering if you should, I'd still say just keep saving. The live stream is the biggest indicator of something big happening and it's like that you should save your gems for. I unfortunately am extremely on gems at the moment. I did accidentally spend like 100 gems, almost 200 gems on re-rolling a piece of gear that I didn't realize was set to anvils. I think I was rolling like an R piece and it was set to gold. So obviously when you go to SSR gear, it thinks you want to use gems. It's a terrible, terrible mistake of mine. But hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please hit like button, subscribe. Really means a lot to me and I'll see you guys for some more. Grand Cross content.